Peace, y'all. What up? It's your boy Choke No Joke, man. I know I'm about to ask a lot. I'm about to ask a lot from you ladies. And I'm, I'm really, you really getting ready to ask a, a whole lot from you ladies. And I know what I'm asking is way too much because a lot of women are vain. I'm not saying all of y'all women are vain, but a lot of y'all women are vain. So what I'm asking is gonna be way too much for a lot of y'all women because y'all not gonna understand me and this is why I'm, I came on here looking raggedy like this to make a point. In a lot of neighborhoods, preferably where it's not a lot of Latino and black people, this would be considered bad or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not permed and silky like European hair or whatever. But black people, we don't have to perm or put relaxer in our hair to make it straight. You could just use a blow dryer and blow it out, but that kind of makes your hair dry. It's that number, I understand that, right? So, the reason I'm about to ask y'all women what I'm about to ask y'all, ladies, girls, little girls, especially the babies. Um, could y'all try? Just try. And the reason why I'm asking y'all to try this because we create the trends. We create the styles of us of color, right? And a lot of people that aren't black, Latino, they benefit a lot off of the money that we make and we spend with them when it comes to hair. You know what I'm saying? And this is why I came on here looking raggedy to, just so that you can understand that even looking raggedy, I'm still proud of my hair. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if, you know, it, it isn't uh, like the European people hair, but as you can see, my hair can be curly naturally if I want it to be. You know what I'm saying? It's just all about styling and stuff. Um, I have good hair. I'm 50 years old with all my hair. I don't dye it like the rest of these guys do. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of having the wisdom. You know, I like the women that like that I got good hair. You know what I'm saying? But um, my point, what I'm about to make is that the hair industry is a big industry. I would say that black people and Latino people probably make up the bulk of the, the, the gross and the net of the money that is made in the um, hair business. So what I want, I'm gonna ask y'all ladies to do, and I know I'm asking too much because I, you know, it's too many chicks that's just vain. So they're they gonna talk other women out of it. You know what I'm saying? But I would act, would like to ask y'all, come 4th of July, for one whole year, let's make natural hair the style. Let's dead lace fronts wigs, let's dead the hair pieces, let's dead the wigs, and all black and Latino people go natural for one year. I'm only going to ask y'all for one year because I know y'all be like, oh, I, I can't go nowhere without no no wig. I, You know, I was just talking to a homegirl of mine that I met more recently. Her hair, her natural hair is down to here. Down her back, all the way down to here. And she's telling me, oh, for my lifestyle, I can't do that because I asked her, well, can you just be my poster uh, person for this? Just go a year without 
you got hair. You got your hair's all the way down the edge. She got hair like a Leah. But she still wears wigs, lace fronts, and stuff. Because she say because of her lifestyle. But her hair is all the way down there. I'm gonna post a picture of her. Beautiful hair. But she still feel like she needs to wear wigs and lace fronts because of her lifestyle. Like, now look at my hair. Look at my hair. You see this? For those who aren't uh, black, our hair can be naturally, there's no chemicals in my hair. My hair is dry as hell. I never put nothing in it. But if you see, all the, my hair is curly naturally if I want it to be. Or it could be afro, or it could be whatever I want with it, to do with it. But I'm just saying, like, and the reason I'm asking is because I had this Indian person, two, in the last three months, I had about three Indian people treat me really bad. And they dominate the hair business with the hair from India, Malaysia, and all these other places. And it's like, us as black people, we come to your beauty supply stores, we come to your hair salons, this, that, and the other, and y'all treat us like dirt. Y'all don't invest in our communities. Y'all put your business in our communities. But I don't see no Indian people coming to the soul food restaurant. I don't see no black men dating Indian women. I don't see no Indian women having babies by black people. I don't, I don't see no Indian men running around with black women having babies by them. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to us financing their lifestyle, their living, their families, we make them overly rich and they don't spend a dime in our community unless they're building a, a goddamn beauty supply store to sell their hair in our community. It has to be a way for black people to take over the hair business. It has to be a way for us to own it. It has to be a way, it has to be a way. Now, if you are thinking about what I'm saying and it makes some type of sense to you and you got thoughts and ideas on how we could cut them out, even if we got to start growing our own baby's hairs, you know what I'm saying? From, uh, from birth to 10 and cut it and sell it like they doing over there, you know what I'm saying? We need to create a system that us who spend the most money in the hair care products get compensated for, not get compensated, take over the business. We should own the business. We should own the business of hair, all right? I don't know how, it's just a thought, but I know for a fact that if all black women, let me ask you black woman, if you didn't buy a lace front wig, hair pieces, or any type of wig for one whole year, and you went natural, how much money would you save? Please put it in the comment. Fellas, if you didn't buy your girl any wigs, any uh, hair pieces, and she just had her natural hair for a full year, how much money would you save? And then my last question to y'all. If all black women and Latino women went natural and didn't do wigs, lace fronts, and y'all can keep y'all relaxes and y'all perms. That's understandable. But say y'all didn't go by or none of this fake hair, extension hairs for one year. What do y'all think will happen to the hair care business and these Indian people and all of them? What do you think will happen? Please leave it in the comments, all right? Choke no joke. I love y'all. Now let me go get my hair did. <laughs> well, love. Uh,